you're still filling that in, continue with me by brushing, washing your brush in the cup if you're ready to move forward. We are now working on our second last tertiary color, which will be from mixing our primary color blue and purple on number 10. I'm gonna go ahead and grab as much as I can for my purple on this right side. Put that in there. I wanna leave some for my last tertiary color. So go ahead and grab a little bit of that purple over here and start mixing in that blue. And you're gonna get that powerful, dark, dark, dark blue. And if you need to, which I might need to right now, so I'm gonna actually show you guys what this is gonna look like. If you ran out of a certain secondary color and you need that and you need a little bit more, go ahead and create it again by grabbing some of that blue, I mean that red, and bringing that over here and then a little bit of the blue to make that secondary color purple because you will be needing a few of the purple for, this, for these last two tertiary colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more red, a little bit more blue to make more purple. And then you can go ahead and add a little bit more purple into your blue because you wanna make sure that it's not just an overpowered blue here. I wanna make sure you add in a little bit of more of that purple to get a good, nice blend of those two colors. So now I think I'm working with the purple that I want. So what I'm gonna do now is, since we were mixing on number 10 here, we're gonna go ahead and look for our number 10 on our color wheel and add that in here. And since it's right between our blue and our purple, get that nice, that nice magenta. Actually, I would say this is more of the magenta and this is more of the plum purple here. I'm gonna grab in a little bit more of my color, make sure I color it in all in, cover all those white little spots. All right. Looking a nicely, a nice rich color here. Okay. And then once you have that one down, go ahead and give yourself a little pause break. Take a deep breath. We are almost there. It's been a quite long road, hasn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn around my wheel because I find it a lot easier to color in, do my brush strokes to the left, but you can always have it brush stroking to the right. So just rotate it as you need it. I'm rotating it a little bit more this way. But remember, you might do it a little bit differently and that's all right. I'm gonna wash my brush a little bit more and then come back once you are ready so we can mix our last tertiary color by blending in our purple, our original violet purple here with red. So that's gonna be on our last number, number 12. So this purple here that you had left over, go ahead and just swap it down, all right? And then bring a little bit of that red here and we're just gonna go ahead and make another shade right here. That nice violet purple with a little bit more red. This is gonna look more of like a brick, brick red. All right? So I would say for number 12, you're adding a little bit more red than the purple. You can also call this a crimson, crimson color. All right, I think that's kind of the red that I want. That nice little, maybe a little bit more red actually. Just kidding, a little bit more red. We're gonna go ahead and there we go. I think that's plenty to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that up and just go ahead and slightly brush that down. It's quite a big swap, so make sure you're not pushing it too much to the edge because it'll probably s spill over to the other side of your wheel. 
And although they're not gonna be straight lines, we're gonna be covering it a little bit more of the other color, that's all right. You also don't wanna make sure it's not too much over. All right, there we go. And as I grab more paint and swap it down, it covers a lot more of the white. So that helped me paint in a little bit more quicker. All right. And I'm just gonna add those last little touches on this one. And there we have it, you guys. There we have our color wheel. If you are still coloring that in, don't worry. Pause the video and finish and make sure you have all those missing spots filled in. Like see here, I see a little bit of that white next to my magenta and purple. Plum purple, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my plum purple and just add a little bit more right there. Fill those in. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty nice to me. All right, and make sure, remember, it's not gonna look like mine, but as close as you can get, you might have little different shades of that lime green. Your orange might look a little bit more um, pumpkin-y on number three, and then just a little bit lighter on number four. That's all right, we're just working on how we can mix primary colors to get those secondary colors. Remember when we were working with red and the yellow to make these oranges, and then the blue, and the yellow to make these greens, and then red and blue to make those purples. It's all gonna look a little bit, a little different shades, right? And that's all right. Um, what we were just trying to figure out is how many colors could we create? Because as we're working with these tropical fish, if you guys take a look, there are various colors that we could use from our color wheel to, to add in to our tropical fish painting here. So go ahead and just give yourself that time to finish up. And then you're gonna go ahead and pause once you are done and you're gonna stop and play the next video. All right, my friends, very well done. I will see you guys in the next video.